Well, hello all. So every once in a while, we go and we check out what's happening around the world, the planet Earth, and what is the most dangerous climate change or catastrophe headed for humans. We usually use an intersection. Those that have watched this channel for years knows this routine. But let's go check out what the biggest threat to the world is right now. So here we have our intersection with our planet in the middle of it. We have ocean die-off, we have heat wave, planet-wide extinction. Over here we have weather disasters and environmental degradation, fresh water degradation, World War III, disease. But there's obviously one, one incoming road that is the most dangerous this planet has only seen this once before, and that's the orange man. The U.S. and the Orange Man is the biggest threat to world peace and world survival that we've ever seen before. This man, if you even want to call him a human, is unhuman. What is his MOS? What does he use to get his message across? Hate. All hate. Hate, hate, hate. Hate on brown people. Hate on yellow people. Hate on orange people. Hate on disability people. Hate on veterans. Everybody that opposes him, he hates. And his followers use hate as well. When they come up with an argument, all they can come up with is hate for other humans. So everything else on the planet is nothing compared to the U.S. and the hate man. The lies and disinformation to try and get war with Iran, Venezuela, or any other country that's nearby that will continue to feed the military-industrial complex. He's all about money and his head, how popular he is, and how many of his stupid followers stick to him, no matter what he says or what he does. His whole genre is to hate on brown people, the very people who used to own the United States, or where the U.S. is now was completely owned and occupied by brown people. But this isn't the first time the U.S. has done this kind of thing, is it? So I got a uh, response on my last video, which I kind of expected, because it was about, well, let me go over and let you read what, the res what this commenter said. response to him. This old man has been around a while. He's done a lot of studying of history and seen a lot with these eyes. Young millennials don't see much and don't have any experience and don't study much, it seems like, because the white millennials that are following the orange man here in the U.S. are part of the world destruction. Let's go look and see what the white man has done to the brown man in the continental U.S. and other countries around the world. But let's just pay attention to the U.S. How many wars has the U.S. been in fighting other brown skin and black skin people? Well, let's just take a look.
As you can see, history pretty much says it all. The white man came in to North America and took the land from the brown people, the people that were here before. So what do the Trump supporters say about this? Oh, it was a long time ago. It's our land now. It's a white, white person's land. So if the brown people came and took the U.S. from the white people, would that be okay with the white people who are the orange supporters if the tables were turned on them? I bet they'd be the first one to grab their guns, ammunition, and start shooting. But when the tables are turned and it's them doing it to others, it's perfectly okay. It's illegal for brown people to come from somewhere that they've been pushed to back to the land that they used to own. They say it's illegal. How could that be illegal? Be illegal. Be illegal. Would it be illegal if the Browns took it from the whites and the whites came back to the land? You see, you have to think a little bit further than just the stupid first denominator that comes into your head. The orange man bringing horrible things to life. So many of the white folks here in the U.S. are upset because they're losing. They're, they don't have anything. They don't. Let's go look at the board and see just what the whites have. So, a survey was taken in 2018 of who had all the money in the, in the U.S. Well, whites get 130800 per year in salary. Blacks get 9590 in Indigenous Native Americans get 5,700. Hispanics, who used to own the U.S., part of the U.S., get 17,530. And the orange man, who's in charge of the haters, gets $2.8 billion a year. Okay, let's go over and see who owns most of the land in the U.S. We know who used to own the land was the people, the indigenous people that lived there. Also, we have to forget that the U.S. took a large part of Mexico. They just took it in the Mexican-American War. It's another piece of information you should look up. So, indigenous people coming to this land is not illegal. It's their land. So, U.S. land ownership. Whites own 96% of the land. Blacks, 2%. Indigenous peoples like the Indians or the Native Americans own 0.7% of the land. Asians own oh, only 0.2%. Hispanics, the ones that used to own the land that had it taken from them, only oh, own 1.4%. Now, I know that the Orange Man supporters never let facts get in the way. Never let facts get in the way. They know how to use a search engine and could find out. They just lie about it because everything that the white Trump supporter believes in, there's one thing and one thing only, and that's lying. Just lie about everything. Pretty hard to fight against lying, especially if you're an honest person. That brings us up to date on the biggest threat to the planet these days and it's clearly not the people coming to the borders around the world it's the white man who went around the world 250 60 70 years ago and wiped it out killed people with brown skin for the fun of it wiped out the buffalo here in the u.s to starve the people out to starve them out then the ones that survived all the disease and the shooting and the killing, they're put on reservations and are in the most horrible poverty you've ever seen anybody. But because they're stuck off somewhere way off over that way on a reservation, nobody ever sees it. Nobody ever cares. And the hate continues. All I can say is what goes around comes around. If the brown-skinned people decide to take back the U.S., that ought to be a quite a slaughter. On both sides, I think the whole purpose here is to become united as one. Tear down the borders, forget phony laws that protect the lawbreakers, and move on to a more peaceful world. 
more equal and peaceful world. Man, what drugs am I on? Now, let's come back to reality. Your comments are appreciated down below. I really do appreciate the, the comments. And if you feel strongly about this issue, put your comment down there. Let's have a discussion about it. So, I appreciate all the sharing so we can compete with the corporates, the corporate news outlets, and the ups and the downs. And until next time.